In this video, I'm going to share with you an extremely profitable smart money concepts strategy. This strategy entails a four step, easy to follow process that you can personally take away from this video. And I'm going to break it down step by step for you guys. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight in. Okay, so step number one, we need to identify a daily fair value gap. Okay, and fair value gaps are created when we have a lot of momentum, either to the upside or to the downside. Okay, so we need to identify daily fair value gaps. So let's play price on. And what you can see here is we've had some strong momentum to the downside. Okay, we've had some strong momentum to the downside. Clearly, we are sell bias on this market. Okay, so let's pop over to the daily so we can identify this daily fair value gap. Okay, so we've got this area here between the, this low here and down to this wick here. So this has been plotted from the algorithm which identifies these daily fair value gaps for you guys. Okay, so we've identified we have a daily fair value gap here indicating to us as traders that momentum is certainly to the downside. Therefore, our bias, we are only looking for shorts on this market. So step number one, identify daily fair value gap. That's exactly what we've done here. You can see it's highlighted in red as well around the outskirts, which indicates to us that this is a bearish fair value gap. Okay, this is a sell based fair value gap. So now let's pop back over to the four hour time frame now that we've identified our daily fair value gap. Okay, so step number two is to identify a four hour order block out of or around our fair value gap. Okay, so this order block needs to be at least, you know, at, at least the start of the fair value gap. So anything above the initial boundary of the fair value gap, we can look for an order block within this area. It may be a little bit higher. That's also absolutely fine. However, it, in this example, the order block, the four hour order block happens to be within the fair value gap. Okay, so what we essentially have here, so this is the order block. Essentially, this is the last up move before price started selling to the downside. Okay, so basically an order block is the last up candle before the aggressive sell-off. Okay, so step number two, identify our four hour order block, and that is simply this area here. So you can see we've got a lighter shaded region, which is our four hour order block. So let's mark that on for you guys here for our order block. Okay, and now let's move over to step number three, which is our entry and setting a sell limit okay so we're going to set a sell limit we don't need to wait for any confirmations okay we simply enter off the order block and we give the trade some room to breathe okay so looking here you can see we're going to have a limit order out of the order block this is for the entry here okay and in terms of the sell limit so step number three that is simply just at the order block, okay? So we place our sell limit here, okay? And that is simply identifying our entry. Step number four, okay? This is our loss and take profit placements, okay? So our stop loss and take profit placement. Some people may place the stop loss just above the order block, okay? However, I personally like to give my trades a bit more room to breathe. So, you know, you can see we've got another sort of order block here where, you know, we have quite a sharp sell off from this area. So, you know, logically speaking, I think it makes sense to have a stop loss just above there. That gives the trade, you know, a bit of room to breathe just in case price did want to come up here, you know, deviate above this order block and then reclaim and then actually start selling off to the downside. Because, you know, if your stop loss is too tight, you may end up getting triggered out of the trade when actually your thesis and your bias is actually correct within the market. Okay, so now that our sell limit is set within this area, 
take profit, you know, you've got around these lows here at a one to two risk to reward. So, you know, taking some most of your profit off the table down at the lows here makes a lot of logical sense. OK, so let's play price on here. And you can see we are triggered in this trade. We're triggered in this trade. OK, price is just playing on here and you can see our one to two risk to reward was hit on this trade. It's very, very important to take a lot of your profit off down at the lows because this is the most likely area where price is going to react from. OK, so this is step number four, identifying our stop loss placement, giving the trade some room to breathe, allowing our thesis to play out. You know, and we're not having a, a too tight of a stop loss, which is, you know, a mistake that I see a lot of new traders make where their stop loss is way too tight and they don't actually allow price to, you know, do its thing and allow it to play out. OK, and in terms of take profit placement, simply down at the lows. Around a 1 to 1 1.5, 1 to 2 is great. And you're going to be securing, you know, pretty much all of your profit off down at the lows here. So this is the four step process that I personally follow when executing within the markets. OK, I need to ensure that all of these steps do take place. It's basically like a checklist. If you want to go ahead, you know, and make your own checklist with the steps provided, I would really rec recommend that. So you do have something in front of you when you are executing within the markets. Okay, so that's it for this one. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye bye.